The latest Mars announcement, that flowing liquid water exists there right now, really puts us on Earth in a terrible Hollywood rom-com. Guys, Mars just isn't that into us. Hey, I'm Melissa Salvatore for 8012. We keep trying to make our little red neighbor in the sky something it doesn't want to be. Leave Mars alone! NASA's findings five years in the making are just the latest thing giving us hope that Mars either used to or still does have life. Like the time the Viking probes found increased carbon dioxide production in the 70s, or the Phoenix Mars lander finding life-supporting nutrients in the soil, or Germany's NASA recreating Mars on Earth, finding bacteria could survive the conditions if things broke the right way. And we've known for years Mars has frozen water at its poles and some vapor in the atmosphere. Can we just take Mars's hint and give this charade up already? Decades of research and we've still never conclusively found life. No less than the brains at MIT say a manned mission to Mars in the next decade would kill every crew member within 10 weeks on the planet. That's thanks to atmospheric and surface conditions that would either suffocate, burn, or dehydrate human life. You'd think it would be a lot more productive to focus our space living efforts on the more Earth-like planets we found. Well, a couple of problems, like money. Even to colonize Mars like Elon Musk wants would cost a conservative $6 billion just to put the first four people up there. For perspective, Mars is 0.0002382 light years away from Earth. The only such Earth-like planet we found closest to our size is 500 light years away. Bottom line, we don't have the time and even Elon Musk doesn't have the checkbook for that. So unless this is just a massive Matt Damon marketing move, let's maybe spend our money taking better care of the planet we've got. That's the word from 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to subscribe, like our videos, and leave a comment. But before you ask, yeah, they're real.